I'm going to review some of the crazy proposed designs for the Lincoln Memorial. Hello, my name is Rob. I'm a tour guide and the founder of Trip Hacks DC Tours. On this channel, I share my best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring Washington, DC. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any videos in the future. Earlier this year, I made a video about the Republican from Illinois who almost prevented us from getting the Lincoln Memorial that we all know and love. One of the more interesting things to me that happened during the fight over the Lincoln Memorial is that several designs were sketched up. Most people are blissfully unaware that we were shockingly close to having Abraham Lincoln sitting inside an Egyptian pyramid or on top of a Mayan temple. But the cool thing is that the National Archives keeps detailed records on these sorts of things. And of course, they have a digital collection where you can view the proposed designs for completely free. So I downloaded them because I wanted to share my reactions as a DC tour guide. But I'm actually even more curious about what you think. So after you're done watching the video and make sure you watch to the end to see all of the designs. Leave me a comment and let me know which one you thought was the best and which one you thought was the worst. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so I just went ahead and pulled up my screen so that you can see the exact designs that I'm looking at. This first one is called Henry Bacon's Competition Proposal for a Monument to Abraham Lincoln. And I've got to say, this looks awfully like the Lincoln Memorial that we wound up with, which totally makes sense because Henry Bacon was the architect whose design we eventually went with. Of course, what's different about this proposed Lincoln Memorial is that there's no roof, but it does have a lot of the same elements, like the big staircase right out front. And I'm trying to zoom in to see if the statue of Lincoln is sitting or standing in this one. It kind of looks like he's standing, but it's a little hard to tell. It's interesting because we're so used to the iconic seated Lincoln that we almost forget that most statues of people are standing statues, unless it's an equestrian statue or something like that. But anyway, I really like this design, probably because I really like the current Lincoln Memorial design. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is called John Russell Pope's Competition Proposal for a Circular Colonnade-Style Monument to Abraham Lincoln. Now, John Russell Pope was a pretty respected architect at his time. He did the Jefferson Memorial, he did the National Archives, he did a lot of really impressive stuff. And I've gotta say that this design is pretty nice. I kinda like this circular colonnade with all the columns running all the way around the outside. But wait, hold on, zoom in on the reflecting pool here. What? That's interesting because unlike the current still reflecting pool, this one has a fountain of some kind. So even though we have a big fountain at the World War II Memorial that you can see if you come on tour with Trip DC or just see it on your own, that one didn't come until way later. Putting a fountain like this at the reflecting pool in the 1910s or 20s would have been way ahead of its time. I kind of like it, if I'm being honest. Here's another sketch of this one from another angle. I think what I really like about this is that there's so many stairs. And when I think about going to the Lincoln Memorial nowadays, I think about all the people, all the eighth grade field trippers crowded onto those stairs. And this just looks like it has a ton of room to spread out. If you zoom in on these people who have statues on top of the temple, not really clear who those people are, but eh, interesting, interesting design choice to put those guys up there. So all in all, I would say I probably wouldn't be too sad if this was the one that actually got built. Okay, let's move on to number three, which is called John Russell Pope's competition proposal for a ziggurat style monument to Abraham Lincoln. And yeah, this one's kind of out there. I guess I'll start with the things that I like, which is that I like the big staircase out front, similar to the current Lincoln Memorial. And if you zoom in, I like what appears to be a very powerful statue of a standing Abraham Lincoln on the top. That's kind of cool. But what I don't like is that he's way above the people who are kind of down below looking up at Lincoln. That looks like kind of an awkward angle. And I guess the way that you have to go to get up there is to go in this door here on the front, and then there must be a staircase inside, or nowadays there would be an elevator. So from an accessibility standpoint, this one's really no good. So while this one has some interesting elements to me, eh, as a tour guide, I don't think I would love it. Okay, number four, this one is called John Russell Pope's Competition Proposal for a Circular Ziggurat Style Monument to Abraham Lincoln. And I don't like this one at all. I mean, okay, so there's a big statue at the very top, but then as far as I can tell from this drawing, there's just this small, narrow staircase that goes up there? This one would be an absolute nightmare on a crowded day on the National Mall. 
The Lincoln Memorial is already the most visited site in Washington, D.C. In a single year, it can get more than 10 million visits. And there is just not enough space at this one to be comfortable. So as a tour guide, put this one in the trash bin because I am not a fan. All right, number five is called John Russell Pope's competition proposal for a pyramid with portico's style monument to Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and this is the one that I always kind of laugh at when I see because it's so utterly ridiculous. But the thing you kind of have to remember about the time was that when they were thinking about building a Lincoln Memorial, there was only one other monument that existed in Washington, D.C. The Washington Monument, which is a big Egyptian obelisk. So if we're gonna stick with the Egyptian style, this pyramid kind of makes sense. But I don't know, I personally think when I see this, I always think about the Luxor Casino in Las Vegas. Not exactly where you want your mind to go when you think of Abraham Lincoln. But also we only know what the outside looks like from this drawing. So we have no idea what it would look like on the inside. So maybe the inside would be pretty cool looking. Or maybe it would just be a hot claustrophobic mess. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that we never had to find out. Okay, number six is called John Russell Pope's competition proposal for a Mayan temple style monument to Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and I have no idea what is going on with this one or what exactly is smoldering up at the top of the monument. This is the kind of thing that you dream up and know that it'll never come into existence because I can just never imagine on the National Mall something that looks like this. But I will say that the big staircase out front looks pretty nice. It's not clear to me where the statue of Abraham Lincoln goes though. I guess on the inside? So yeah, this one's a fun dream, but glad we didn't go with this design. And number seven, this one is called John Russell Pope's competition proposal for a monument to Abraham Lincoln on Meridian Hill. And I think if you have a fear of heights, this might be the most terrifying monument you have ever seen. That is one giant staircase. And it looks like quite a fall if you were to slip off the side. Now, if you look really closely and zoom in to the left of the monument, you'll see the Washington Monument way off in the distance. So the National Mall was not the only location considered for a Lincoln Memorial. This one, Meridian Hill Park, is a few miles north of the White House. And it's actually quite a spectacular view because the National Mall is at a low elevation and the park is at a much higher elevation. So without a doubt, the views from inside this Lincoln Memorial would have been spectacular. But at the end of the day, I've got to say that if Lincoln's Memorial were up at Meridian Hill Park, I'm not sure it would get nearly as many visitors as it does on the National Mall location. There's just something about the location that it's in that seems perfect in every possible way. All right, and number eight, rounding out the designs. This one is called John Russell Pope's competition proposal for a monument to Abraham Lincoln at the Soldier's Home site. So a little known Washington DC landmark is the old soldier's home, which when Abraham Lincoln was president was his summer home. We actually covered this in the Trip Hacks DC podcast episode about Lincoln historic sites. But I've gotta say from this drawing, it looks like the most spectacular of all of the proposed designs. The seated Lincoln is actually quite similar to the seated Lincoln that's in the current Lincoln Memorial. But this temple is absolutely massive. You know that in the current Lincoln Memorial, the back wall is basically right behind Abe Lincoln's head. This one, he's in a huge circular dome. So while I don't think the soldier's home is the best location, this one would have been awfully impressive if we'd built it. Okay, so now that we've seen them all, I need you to go down in the comments section and vote on your favorite and least favorite proposed design. And hey, if you made it this far, then I highly recommend another Trip Hacks DC video. So go ahead and click or tap right over here to watch the next one. And if you're coming to DC and wanna sign up for a Trip Hacks DC guided tour, you can click or tap on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll send you right over to triphacksdc.com where you can see all of the tours that we offer. Enjoy your trip.